What is going on YouTube? It is Flawfish here and uh, welcome back to another trade day here. Uh, this is the highlights of number 15 or kind of just, you know, going through everything. So we have this idiot offering in these trades. Then we have uh, Tavares, who's about 12k, so that's about 17. Um, McDonald, 18, 19. Go with about 19k there on that one. So a little bit low for Tavares, gonna have to, or for Duchesne, gonna have to reject this one. Um, this trade I really like actually. Uh, although Stasny isn't might not sell as well, there is only one on the hot market right now, which is listed pretty high. So it might work out for me in the long run. Um, who knows? I'm gonna take a gamble on this one, and he's not that much worse than Duchesne. He's actually got better hands and a better shot. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. So thank you for this offer on Duchesne. That's a fairly good offer, and I actually like that one a lot. So. Uh, Stassi will probably find a way onto my team here. Uh, that'll be fairly interesting. We'll see. We'll see how that works. Um, and then we'll send him to my active roster. He's actually a fairly solid player from what I remember in this game. Um, next up, again, I put up goalies this time and there's no offers on them. So, um, you know, got to do what you got to do. Uh, again, you guys, if I'm putting them up, I do want the offers on them. This one's actually fairly solid for Dan Boyle. Dan Boyle's listed for around 30k. Um, he does sell for around 20k. And between Keith, between all of this, there's around 20k in value or so, um, which is fairly solid. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and accept this because it is a very very solid trade offer. And it's got a few pieces I like, like Larson and Ekman Larson. I already have them, but I mean I can go ahead and list those eventually. So. Um, Gonna go ahead and we're gonna accept that one. We're just gonna fire them all into my collection or onto my trade pile. So once again, thank you for that offer. It was was it the best offer? Eh, maybe not, but was it one of my was it a good offer? Yes it was. Um trade pile trade pile and again none of them had contracts, but oh well. Um it's just calming it's just courtesy, you know, to have your contracts involved in them. And um there's nothing there. We got one on Kadri here, which is going to be, is this Team of the Year, Kunitz? No, it's Team of the Week. See, Team of the Year would have been intriguing for me, um, but I'm going to have to reject it for that reason. And then one on Voracek here. So we got 83k on Voracek. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this offer. I know... My last one sold for 100k, but that is actually, in my opinion, a bit of a fluke that he sold for that. And 83k is a pretty good offer on him. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that offer on Voracek. So thank you for that deal again. Um, a little bit over 83k with the plus 3 goalie, but uh, you know how it is. These nice little plus 3s. Um, so that's a fairly solid offer. We're actually building up a lot of pucks here. Might have to spend some soon again, but uh, oh yeah, the team of the year seven sold too. This is another really solid offer in my opinion. Uh, we got team of the week Eliash, uh, Backstrom, and then Duchenne and five K. So Backstrom's about three K. That's about eight K between him and the five K. Duchenne's around twenty K, twenty one K. So that's around um, combine those. So you're around thirty K there, and then Eliash. Uh, he's up there. I think he's around probably 15k. I know so it puts us around 45, which is actually fairly solid um, and Yeah, so once again guys, I put goalies up again and There's no offers you can kind of see why I don't do offer or goalie offers and this one this one's kind of intriguing again uh, Star of the week Ekman Larson who I absolutely love in this game the Glen cross is kind of interesting and then Bishop, who's a really good goalie in this game. Glenn Cross, I have no idea what he'll sell for. And in my opinion, he could sell for quite a lot. Uh, he's a 91 skate. He's a left wing. He's got very, very good stats. It's just the Iginla, I'm getting around 50k, 60k offers on it the night before. And that one's going to be a little tough for me to decide there. Uh, Ekman Larson's around 25 ish, 25k. Bishop's around 10, so 35. We'll put Glenn Cross at probably around 30. Um, so that, that's around the right range. Uh, I'll, I'll have to double check on that one, obviously. Uh, he, is, he is a bit of, bit of a favorite player. Well, he's just a trade player, in my opinion, for me, because I don't, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of power forwards, but, uh, obviously Dustin Brown did quite a lot for me. Um, yeah, so nothing on the cadre yet. 
Uh, still only the one on the cane. That'll be quite interesting to see if it goes through or not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look up the canes here. So this is, once again, this is how I find my values. Uh, I know he's not center, but half of them are listed on center. So I'm just going to up it up to, let's go with, I think it's 1.4K. Um, so yeah, 55, 40, 40, 40. You know, he's all in that 40 range. Uh, 39, so 40, 40. Once again, he's he's at 40. He's a 40... K player, which I'm gonna need that on him. Um, I know I got him for probably I got him for 39. It was late at night too, which really helps. But um, I'm gonna need that on him in a trade, and I don't know if that trade will really get me there. Um, it'll be interesting, obviously. Um, but I think I'm probably gonna be better off just sticking with Patrick Kane and selling him. I think we'll have to double check here, but um. I think I'll be better off like that because Eliash showed 20k, so that's half of him. So you got half right there, you got two thirds right there. So Eliash needs to go for 10k for that to be a solid trade, and we'll see what he goes for here. Uh, oh, there's a mega pack too. That's nice. Uh, he's a right wing NHL, and he's on the Devils here. So uh, New Jersey. Uh, is there any of him? There's centers. All right, so he's a center. So he's an 18K buy it now. Um, if he's not selling for 18K, that means he's around probably 15, 12, somewhere in there. Uh, who knows? It's Obviously, it's waiting for the right person. Uh, why am I going to my watch list? Oh, yeah, I'm putting a trade offer on that guy there. Um, that's one of the guys I've been watching for a little bit. But, um, yeah, so nothing on... Um, this deal is tough for me because I know Patrick Kane, easy 35K easy 35k there so Duchesne and Eliash will go with 30k 35k there um, they're all listed at 40 uh, 35k we're going low here just to see 35k between those guys and then we get Backstrom in this I don't know this just this seems like it's dead on even and it's just going to come down to what I want. So let's go with the skates. Patrick Kane is faster. He has better hands and he's really sick to play with. Duchenne, yeah, he's not as sick to play with in my opinion. Uh, I think I'm probably going to let that one slide. Um, and then back to this one. This one's intriguing though. This one has got me. This is a very good offer. Whoever sent this in, because um, Glenn Cross, I could actually see Glenn Cross selling for a fair amount. Because he's got very, very strong stats. And strong stats are always a good thing. And the boosted uh, Ekman Larson's kind of cool. Nine game duration on that one. So I'll probably I'll probably take that one out for a spin. Um, just with the 99 skate. That'll be pretty fun. Um, I might be taking that one. Uh, but this one, let's see here. Eliash. Let's call him. Let's go. So he's listed at 18. We'll call him... 15 we'll go 15 on him that's 20 that's 40 you know it's it's fairly close um it's to the point where i wouldn't be disappointed if i didn't take it or disappointed if i left it so as fun as patrick kane is to play with whoever did this offer did a fairly good job at making it they did they put in the correct value and i think i'm going to take it so uh, thank you for that deal. Um, I know you might have gotten a bit of a deal there, but uh, I do think it's fair overall, um, especially because some of these players were going cheap last week. Uh, there's about probably a three-hour span where everything was going really, really cheap, um, and then everything else not so much. And I get Nick Backstrom too, who I wouldn't have mind putting in my collection now. So he's in there. Uh, so that was a fairly solid offer. Uh, now let's see. So up the trade pile again. Oh, we have one on Getzloff here. Yeah, definitely a great deal right there. There's some guys sending me contracts after contracts too. I, I mean, as much as it is funny, it kind of gets annoying after a while. But you see, all my goalies here don't have offers. I had one low offer on Luongo. Um, it was from a subscriber. But again, like I can't, I have to get my... I have to get at least what I paid for them, or a little bit less than what I paid for them back, and that was the thing with Voracek for me, is that it was a little low. Um, is this Team of the Year? No, see, this is Team of the Week. Again, 
if it's team of the year, probably a good offer. So, um, yeah, I'm going to wait it out a little bit, and I guess we can kind of sit here and wait. Uh, we'll see what's going on in the market here, because um, the market should be up a little bit. So this is just how you know browse for stuff. I just go up and find the minimum price, jack it up a little bit, and uh, that's pretty much all I do. Um, so you can kind of see you know, some players here ending. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary for these guys. Nothing like, oh, let's go buy them now or put in a bid on them. So some of them do go for lower than others. Like, I will say that. There's some that are absolutely insane steals in this game. And I do get them from time to time. And I think everyone gets them from time to time. But, um, yeah, so I don't know if there's another Iggy listed. Let's go look at that. Is that a legit? No. Uh, I'll probably, and once again, I'll probably be putting these guys up for auction later because it is mega pack, it is double chance, uh, so it's probably a pretty good time to, you know, go for it, put all the guns in a basket and hope for the best here. So let's go look at Pittsburgh. Um, yeah, so there's no Aginla. The only Aginlas on here are the two uh, Team of the Weeks, which are 150k, um, so you take the 88, he's going to be around a 60 K probably. Um, and uh, that's tough. I think I can do better on the trade. It's just, I like the pieces involved. Uh, we'll go look up for a Glenn cross click quickly here. How much time do we have left? Two minutes and 53 seconds. All right. Search for item, uh, start of the week. So just going to be on Calgary. I don't think they had a ton, to be honest. Um, how's this? How are we doing on time? Yeah, so there's nothing. There's nothing on Calgary here. Um, I have a feeling he'll be in the same range as Tangay, which is a good sign to see them all listed high. Um, so that might be... I might take that one and just hope like heck that... Um, do we have an offer? Oh, we have an offer on him. Nice. Uh, Thornton is around 10, Backstrom's 3, Vanix 3, uh, gonna have to check up on Jumbo Drill quickly, make sure, make sure 10k is the right value there, um, cause Weber can go for 20, um, I've seen him go for 20 about 3 times in the past week, so, once again, it's, the market's kinda heading up in value, and if you can hold on to your players for a little bit, or, you know, just kinda try to work your better players out, um, you know, they're all listed fairly good. Um, that might not be a bad offer actually to take. Um, although I do like Weber. Hmm. No, it's not horrible. It could be worse, but I just got another back from is a problem. So that's going to be a 3k Vanix around five. I, I think I know he sells fairly well, so that could be, that could be potentially more, um, it could be potentially less too. Um, I think this is tough. I'll have to, I'll have to sit on that one. I uh, got another one in on the Weber here. So we got Team of the Week, Thornton and Carl Alsner in 5K. We'll reject this one and see if they counter back with something. Because um, I know, I know Iggy's a fairly popular player, and I'm gonna answer the phone right now. Actually, or hang on one second.